So. Oh, cool, yeah. I do want to hurt him. That's why I dragged him. Oh, well, it's quiet. Okay. That's why I dragged him into this. Cause I. Ain't, ain't, wanted to hurt him. What do you mean? <clears throat> Where's your phone, by the way? I don't need it. Right here. Where's it? Right there. there. Mm -hmm. Well, she can't take it anyway. Yeah, you never know, though. Go ahead, boy. I wanted to hurt him. Because who? Stuart. That's why I dragged him into Stuart this. Stuart who? Hilt. Say that clearly and then tell me how it sounds. I wanted to hurt Stuart Pilch. That is why I dragged him into this. It sounds... Why? How does that Why? What did he do to you? Nothing. He was only ever very helpful why would and kind. Want that man? Because... Because I, I guess I. Hmm? I, I want. He's a good person, and I want him. I mean, he's all. He, hmm? I want. I like. I want to like control him or like have him as a. I, I want him to care about me at the expense of everything else. And he doesn't. He has a life that I have nothing to do with. Right. But you knew that all along. Yeah. Well, what gives you the right to hurt me? No, I don't have that right. Hmm? I don't have that right. Did you try to hurt him? By dragging him into this, yeah. Did you try to hurt him before? I mean, basically, by setting him up the whole time. How are you setting him up the whole time? No. By making you suspicious of him and making him an issue with you so you would be suspect to him and put his stuff up on the website and writing, um, and writing in my journals about him, hoping that people would see it to manipulate the story. Huh? Hoping that people would see it to manipulate the story and just make it seem like I really cared about him or that we had this relationship. Why? Because I wanted like, it, to what end? For what purpose? I wanted it to be like publicized so it would so it what? like hurt his life and and break up his marriage and ruin his well, life. Well, he's not making any sense. Why would you want to do that? You're not saying why. Because I wanted him to love me. I wanted him to want to be with me, and he ne would never, that was not what he, he would never like leave his family or anything for me, that was, but I, that's what I wanted. And I wanted him. So what right, what gives you the right then to hurt this person? I have no right, but I just, I, I don't have any right. Mm -hmm. I don't have any right. Go ahead. I don't have any right to hurt him. Mm -hmm. I don't have any right to hurt him. And I, everything I did was to set it up so but you... But I thought you wanted to hurt me by bringing it to it. Well, I also wanted to interfere. Which didn't make sense. No, mm -hmm. I wanted to hurt him because I knew that he would hurt him because I know who if you thought he was a threat mm -hmm. I know what you do it's a threat do something for you. what makes you think I would just hurt another person because of the things you said and did to make it look certain I guess I thought I could manipulate it I would never do that I don't know no where and how you think that. But I know where you think all kinds of sort of truly things. Just look at the stuff you write over here. 
<clears throat> so what? Come on. So that's what this was all about. I was angry that he, I don't know, didn't drop everything and give me everything. And give you? Yeah. What you told me over time, I don't know how true what is or not. <clears throat> but from what you told me, that guy was very nice to you, very good to you. Very nice and very good. Very and that's nice. how you, you hear what you're saying? Yeah. So how important is it for you to hurt him now? I don't want to hurt him anymore. What? I don't want to hurt him anymore. How do you know you're not? Because I'm not going to contact him. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to completely just never touch him again. I've already done enough. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to go near him again. You can hurt him, Claudia. I mean, I don't see anything in it. I believe you can. Aren't you unrealistic? Don't you you don't <laughs> see the possibility that this guy would just dispense with you? He would just call the authorities and have you picked up? Yeah, I do see that. Huh? I do see that. You can't do that to <laughs> someone, Claudia. They didn't find any sign of it, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't there. How do you know that? That's what he said. No, how do you know it doesn't mean it wasn't there? That's what he said. Oh, you mean he could have just told you that? No, I'm saying he said, yes, he said they didn't find any sign I'm of it, to but that doesn't mean that you didn't do it or it didn't affect me, but they said, you know, you're young and healthy, and it was one or a couple times, so just monitor it. But Did they test him for it? They tested for it. He went to the VA. Mm. Who else? That's it. And where did you get the mercury to do that to AJ? It was the same. I was dating AJ in 2013. So I was getting it from uh, Santos, my parents, and I just and ordering it the end of 2013. Mm -hmm. um, Who else did you do that to? Someone named Isaac. Who else? Um, what did you do? 
What about Stewart? Do a tab. Sure. Hmm? Yeah. Say you did it to him. Yeah. You told us you did it to him. I know. I never did. Anyway. Best place to use prison for you. She said to poison, but I do know it's true with us. Yeah. We're living it. We've tested for all the stuff. We've been being treated and have some serious health problems. <clears throat> well, so what else were you thinking about? I'm going to leave him completely alone. I'm not going to talk to him ever again. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm. That would be good. That's the wiser thing to do. I'm not going to bother him anymore. You, you won't be able to. Well, you're just going to make you know, the circumstance arise where he'll do something about you. You would know. I would know. Well, you don't have to go over and over in your head, you know if you didn't know. I didn't. Hmm? I didn't. I told him that I was trying to hurt him to weaponize him against you, but I didn't tell him that it was specifically to hurt him. No, I didn't ever tell him that, no. How did you tell him to hurt him? I said I used you as a weapon with Larry. Like, wow. weaponized you by, like, throwing your name around, trying to threaten him with you, and then, and that's why I told him. See, that never worked. No. I was aware of you doing that at different times over time. Yeah. I just never say anything because it didn't matter. Right. It doesn't amount to anything. That's your, just your talk. But no, I never told, I never told them like, I never. So, you were going to tell us about these, what, safe deposit boxes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Bank of America one and the Food Bank one. Mm -hmm. And what's in them? TD Bank has the cell phone I spoke to Frank with at the Hudson. And the Bank of America. What's in them? Has the cell phone I spoke to. The Bank of America one has. Uh, it should still have poison that I was poisoning with in the summer, the Columbia summer. When was that? 2014. 21? 14. Would be the same poison I used at the Columbia Presbyterian. Are you sure of this? Are you telling the truth? Yes. Is this sack here? Yes. How do you know? Because Are I. Just
because I, I, I did it. I took the boxes out, I know. They're under my name. What else you have? Evidence wise. Do the right thing, Woody. Let's go. I have. I'm sorry, I was I have a storage unit in Yonkers. You have what? A storage unit in Yonkers. March to the state? Yeah. How big is it? It's small. It's the smallest one. And how long is it paid for? I did have it. What did you tell me about Stuart's wife? Her name is Lisa. Hmm? Her name is Lisa. She's, uh, he met her, she was a nurse. She was his nurse originally. She used to be a model. She... What else did you tell me? Did you want to send her something? No, no. You did say that. Wow. I don't want to. What did I say? Mm -hmm. I don't even remember. I would never do that. I, funny that you say that. You put poison in people's food. It wasn't just that you put these chemicals in our food for you. You put it in our apartment. And you did your damnedest to make me you were our friend before anybody was wiser. I'm never going to talk to him again. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's not a man, he's a smart man. And you never going to talk to him again. It would be the wise choice. And I think he's a wise choice. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Thank you. 